All right, guys. So here we have to find the uh, a PDF or a joint PDF, and we need to find the probability that x is between one and two, and y is between zero point two and zero point nine. Now, I already posted a video uh, before where we I worked out how to find c, and we got that c was equal to four over thirty nine. So now we're going to find out what the probability is. So we're going to write down 4 over 39. And because of a joint PDF, so we get double interval from zero to, from 1 to 2, uh, not 0, from 1 to 2, and 0 0.2, 2.9 of x squared plus y cubed dy dx now um, 4 over 39 is going to be there so I'm not going to write it again until later so I get integral from 1 to 2 of x squared y plus y4 over 4 from 0.2 to 0.9 dx and you will get 0.7 x squared because you are replacing y by the values of 9 and 0.2 so you get 0.7 x squared plus 0.9 to the power of 4 minus 0.2 to the power of 4 we see that it was equal of uh, it was equal to Okay, 0.9 to the power of 4 minus 0.2 to the power of 4 that equal to 0.6454 divided by 4 so it's equal to 0.164 and that's the integral from 1 to 2 and dx so now we are going to integrate in respect to in respect to x. So that would be equal to four over thirty nine times point x squared or oh, um x squared so that, that, that's going to be point seven x cubed over three plus 0.164 x from 1 to 2 and that would be equal to 8 over 3 times 0.7 so let's just do that let's see how are we going to get if we do 0.7 times 8 divided by 3 that will be 1.6 Eight seven plus point three two um, yes point three two eight now we equal to two point nine one nine so we get four over thirty nine that would be we get two point nineteen uh 2.19 minus 0.7 over 3 plus so 0.7 divided by 3 plus point up oh, 0.164 that would be equal to 0.397 so that would be 0.397 and that so 2.19 minus 0.397 equals to 1.79. So I'll be 1.79 times 4 divided by 30. So 1.79 times 4 divided by 39 would equal to 0.183. So that would equal to 0.18. I think 53? No, 184. This is the probability that x is between 1 and 2 and 
y is between 0.2 and 0.9 gigs. Now, as you can see how I did it is kind of took a long time, but to put the calculation and all that. But what I want you guys to understand is how to get from here. I'll show you how to get from here to here. This is the part that is the most important or the most important part of the the problem. Is how to get from one place to the other. The the algebra part doesn't really matter, but if you understand how to get from here to there, then that's what I want you guys to understand. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you understand. And other than that, have a good day and thanks for watching my video. Bye.